All right, Brush Monkeys, we're back, and this week we are uh, continuing our hassle-free miniatures line with this little guy. I don't recall what he's listed as on the uh, website, but basically he's the monster from the movie Robot Monster. It came out in 1953. It's one of those old classic TV monster, or uh, old classic uh, monster movies from the 50s. Really low budget. I think they used a... Uh, I think it was a gorilla suit with uh, some hiking boots, <laughs> dive helmet with some antennas glued on there. Really, really cheesy. Um, but because of the low budget, we're going to do a really quick little paint job on this guy. I think it's going to be uh, it's going to go by really fast. So we've got the Basilicum Gray with a Necron dry brush for the helmet, Gorgon to fur with some uh, Sylvanus bark dry brush for the body. Uh, the palms of his hands are going to be uh, Basilicum Gray with the uh, uh, Dawnstone dry brush. Hardened leather for his boots. The uh, little glass on his um, on his face mask there is going to be, uh, we're going to use a Pro Acrylic Blue Triad for that. Um, I'm going to paint it up kind of similar to how we do with the uh, anime eyes, where the whole thing is going to be kind of a medium blue or yeah, the mid-range blue, then darker blue along the top, lighter blue along the bottom. Then we're going to take some, um, uh, what is that, sterling silver, shining silver from Army Painter, and draw some little reflections on there. I think that's going to look really good. And uh, yeah, that's about all there's going to be for that guy. It's going to be a pretty quick little thing. We're once we matte seal it, we'll gloss coat that. The base is going to be um, Dark Angels Green with Niblet Green Dry Brush and then a Dark Green Base Band. So, I'm not expecting this to take a really long time. I think it's going to be a quick little paint. It's mostly contrast paints and dry brush. But I think when we get done, it's going to look really good. It's going to look like the original from the, from the movie. Uh, let me see if I can pull up a real quick picture of what he's going to look like. Of what the monster from the movie looked like and you can see what I'm going for it was an old black and white movie so there's not a whole lot of pictures in color of what the creature looked like but uh, I got you here hang on there's a good picture of what he looked like you see the kind of reddish brown fur and the black palms of the hands he didn't have the boots in that one, so that's the d distinctive here. We're going to use hardened leather for the boots. Was, back then, it was just a gorilla suit with a with a spaceman helmet on it. So, but that's what we're aiming for. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here and uh, do up his helmet, and then we'll uh, come back and take a look at him. All right. See you soon. Bye. All right, we made some progress on our guy here. As you can see, I got those little. Reflection lines painted on his visor. His helmet's all done. Not a whole lot to him. Like I said, this is going to be a really quick little paint. So next up is to dry brush these hands with the Dawnstone and then paint the fur with the Gorgonta fur. It's a nice reddish brown. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll come back and take a look at him. Right. See you soon. Alright, we have his little gorilla hands all dry brushed. And the Gorgon to fur painted on looks really good. I'm going to let that dry and then we'll uh, dry brush it with the Sylvanus bark. And then we'll get his boots. So, like I said, he's about 90% done now. <laughs> I told you it was going to be a really fast little paint. So, I'm going to take a break and let that uh, Gorgon to fur dry. And then we'll come back and hit the next thing. See you soon. Bye. All right, so our robot monster's fur is all done. See, I've got them all dry brushed with the Sylvanus bark, and it makes a nice little highlight to that dark brown Gorgon to fur, kind of reddish brown. So we're going to do his boots next, and uh, this guy's like 90% done. So, I mean, I knew it wasn't going to take very long. It's a really quick little paint job, but, uh, yeah, he's coming along. So we're going to do his boots, and then we'll come back and take a look at him, and then we'll finish him up. All right, see you soon. All right, so we got our robot monster's boots done, and they're like two coats of the uh, AP hardened leather speed paint. 
and I think they look pretty good. I think there's just enough of a differentiation between the reddish brown of the leather and the reddish brown of the fur that they stand out really nicely. So I'm pretty happy with how he's turned out. Um, all that's left to do now is his basing, and he's going to be done with the uh, usual. Uh, I got his his uh, texture paste on there, so I'm going to do the. Uh... Actually, you know what? Um, I may have to think about that basing because uh, it just occurred to me I was going to do grass basing, but I don't think there was grass basing in the movie. So let me think that over and get back to you. Bye. All right, we're back, and uh, having researched the movie a little bit, um, I realized the movie was done in black and white, so it's a little hard to tell what's going on there. But it looks like a lot of it was shot in kind of um, caves and sort of rocky areas, uh, uh, <clears throat> kind of arid, not quite desert, but certainly dry areas. Um, so rather than going with the bright green color scheme, um, I'm going to do kind of a more arid rocky sort of thing with the uh, Nasdaq yellow for the whole base and I'm going to dry brush that with a little tyrant skull and then give it the baseband a uh, uniform brown baseband and we'll probably put some uh, wasteland tufts on there too just to kind of because there is a little bit of plants and scrub there it's just nothing really big uh, so I think that'll I think that'll turn out nice so uh, the next time you see this guy, he's going to be completely done. We're going to go ahead and wrap him up. And uh, after we get done doing his base, I'm going to matte seal him and give his visor here a uh, quick coating of um, gloss coat so it'll look like glass. And I think he's going to look really good. So like I said, next time you see him, he'll be completely done. See you soon. Bye. All right, brush monkeys. There is our finished robot monster. Uh, stand in not official robot monster but you know what he is uh, from hassle free miniatures courtesy of my friend Brian Bledsoe who sold me this mini I think he turned out really fantastic I'm really happy with how he looked I think he's uh, looks really close to the original so I'm pretty happy with him so I'm gonna go ahead and call this guy done and then uh, we'll start it on something else next week Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. Hey, Brush Monkeys. Tom here. Um, if you like what you see, click like down below. Um, I think it's over on that side. Uh, if you want to be notified when new videos come out, click subscribe. Uh, new videos post mostly on Fridays. Uh, the regularly scheduled ones post on Fridays, but you know if something comes up, I'll post something anytime. So go check that out. Uh, click like, click subscribe. Both of those help with my YouTube numbers. Um, if you want to rock some of the Fly Monkey merch, like a T-shirt, long sleeve T-shirt, uh, sweatshirt, hoodies, masks, whatever, um, go check out our merch store at storefrontier.com/slash/flymonkeystudios. Uh, if you want to uh, support me in other ways, there's my Amazon wish list. Um, feel free to check that out. Uh, check out our Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and uh, Facebook accounts. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.